I think, uh, like, obviously we'd love to all stay healthy this year. Uh, but uh, just, like, off the field-wise and just, like, mentally and chemistry-wise, people don't understand how big that is for offensive lines in particular. Like, you have to really know how you, these guys think, trust these guys, and the relationships we've been able to develop over these past, what year am I on, five five years with me and Taylor and then everybody else kind of slowly trickling in here. It's been very good, and I think it's only going to benefit us. How much, how much different does he look coming around? I know it's only early in the process, but just being around him mentally, just physically, like how, how different is he looking right now? Oh, he looks the same. Uh, he's, uh, I mean, he's a freak show. He's still a freak show. Um, big, strong kid, man, and great energy. You, uh, you made a big, uh, I mean, you had a good, good rookie year. You made a nice step forward in your year, year two. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what that second year was like for you, Frank, and if there's any lessons from that experience that you can apply to Pinay or, like, you know, warn him of, of what to expect. Is there I think the rookie year, uh, it's just a whirlwind overall. So you kind of get, you understand what's going to happen. You get in a routine. You kind of, I mean, you know what's going on. And a big thing for me that I, I mean, obviously struggled was I was, I had never played left guard. That was the big part where I struggled my rookie year. So to get back to center was huge. But in terms of for Panay, like he finished the year strong. And I think, and I think personally in offensive line play, Confidence is everything. If you're not confident, you're going to really struggle from the get-go. So now that he's got that confidence and he's kind of established that he can really do this and do this at a high level, I think that and knowing what to expect is really going to benefit him. But he's just going to take it one day at a time. We'll see how it goes. You mentioned the continuity that you need up front. You and Taylor didn't even play a game together last year, so you didn't have those five guys. If, if, if you get all five guys and stay healthy like you mentioned, just how good of a unit do you think you guys can be if, if, if you stay healthy and, and, and play season. Yeah, I think we can be pretty dang good. Um, it's all it's obviously on us, and it's it's really where we want to take ourselves and how hard we want to push ourselves and if we can get there. But I think definitely if you look talent-wise and just look at the dudes across the line, we can be – I mean, they, they were pretty dang good last year too. So, I mean, I'd love to help them and boost everything. And I think we all get going and we gel and stay healthy. I think we can be a pretty good old line. But we got to take it one day at a time. And uh, the sky's the limit there. Frank, what, what if anything did you get out of the last season personally? The only play was it four or five games. Yeah. Or whatever it was. But did you get anything out of that season at all? You Are you know? saying from the playing or from being hurt? Anything. Yeah, I think uh, being hurt, that was horrible. Um, you just gain a lot of respect for dudes who have had to deal with injuries because it's gut-wrenching, man. You really, you really don't realize – like, obviously, you're still a part of the team, but you really don't feel like you're a part of the team. And you feel like an outsider. Like, when you're, when you're out there on the field on those Sundays and you're in your gear, you're like a gladiator and you're walking out there, and I'm walking out there in a T-shirt and shorts limping around. It's a humbling feeling. So I just gained uh, a respect for guys who battle and come back from injuries throughout their career, a major respect for those guys, and just realize – how blessed it is to be healthy and to be able to continually play and have some consistency. You know, you're just in phase one of the off season right now, not you know digging into a playbook or anything. But um, have you got any sense for what Ben wants to do with the offense in terms of offensive line play? Do you expect any major changes or tweaks? Um, what you guys are going to be doing up front? Uh, I can't really speak to that, but I do think with Hank continuing on too and Ben and Hake have always had a great relationship and we're kind of saying by hand there I wouldn't expect much to change for us terminology wise but who knows what Ben is uh was thinking like scheme wise and everything like that we'll get into that but I'm very excited he's smart man and he's so fun to be around and a great communicator self-scout that's one of the things that stood up most to him was the offensive line and its potential to be dominant I think is the word that he used um I guess as a leader of the group what does the group need to do to get from where it is now to that place where it can be a dominant group? We gotta, we gotta. I think really it's consistency. Uh, they showed last year that, or we showed last year that we can we can take over some games, but to be able to do that game in and game out, and then uh, minimize the penalties, and I think we can be right there. Just keep always one thing that Hank always stresses, and that's one thing that's kind of. I don't want to say falling off in this league, but not as, as much as just finishing, like being nasty and finishing through the whistle. I think that really can be your edge towards the end of games on these defenses. Just to go back to your answer 
answer about how tough last year was? I mean, mentally, what were the challenges for you just sort of staying involved with the team and everything? And then I guess how anxious are you now? I don't know how if you've ever gone so this man. far, <laughs> this long with yeah, the game. Yeah, I mean, you just start to question, like, am I going to be the same player? But then once you start getting your reps and everything, like even just like getting through this off season and getting back in my groove, I'm like, am I going to be able to squat the same way? And then I check that box off and just kind of slowly – Climb it, and then eventually you get there, and you get that confidence in your back. Hopefully. How did you see him improve from from year uh, one to two? He had a really good first year, man. Uh, yeah. So he just kind of built on it, man. More more finishing in the run game, and he's a really good pass blocker, very aggressive with his hands, and he's got great feet. Uh, I just think he. He keeps on working to be consistent, and he's right up there with any guard in the league, I think. You know, Evan Brown impressed when he went down, and they brought him back this offseason. What's he add to that kind of second group, and how can he help kind of bring that all, all together, you think? Obviously, he's a good player, as you guys saw, but he's also he's really smart. And I think that also benefits me as well, just being able to bounce ideas off of him and Hank, and us three, really, with Hank being a former center, too. That's a great thing to have with that continuity and that chemistry and being able to familiarize each other with what we're talking about. He was in there when uh, Dan took over calling plays and Ben started helping out more. Do you ever talk to him about any little tweaks that happened in the offense when you were watching there? Well, I was I was around, so I didn't necessarily have to talk to him. I was witnessing it. Frank, is it crazy to, is it crazy to think that you guys could potentially have like three pole bowlers on your offensive line? Obviously, you've been there. Jonah was there last week. Penny is kind of trended that way, too. Is, is that a crazy thought that you guys could be that good? Yeah, I mean, I... I how do I word this? I think I think Taylor Decker's an amazing player. I think Big V's an amazing player. And I think, like, I, don't get me wrong, the Pro Bowl vote is such a blessing and a dream come true. But there's a lot of good players in this league that have never been considered for the Pro Bowl. So I think uh, just I think that's what's cool about this group is every single guy is, a, I like to say, a dude. And uh, it's just cool to see how each guy can flash, and we just got to keep being consistent and really put it all together, hopefully. Really quickly, best, best outdoor adventure this offseason? Oh, that's not quick. Uh, I, went up to, <laughs> I went up to the top of Manitoba, 14 hours north of Minnesota, and we were up, uh, like, deep in the bush. Like, so we were taking snowmobiles through this, like, old uh, trapper's path, seven feet of snow on each side. If you fall, you're done. Like, 13 miles. <laughs> Like ducking through sticks and trees and stuff like that to catch big lake trout. It was sick. Thank you, guys.